Hi everyone, Choice here. Thanks for coming back to see me again on another session. Um, I kind of like wanted to talk again about a little bit of the spiritual thing and a little bit of the current events and bring it all together. Uh, this is, uh, I heard somewhere where people were really talking about the uh, comments that were made about uh, the sacrifice of this recent uh, situation uh, on the news that has gone global, uh, that has brought this racism thing to a head. But the comment was made that it was a sacrifice. And many, many people became very angry that uh, would use the word sacrifice. Um, everyone, remember this, everyone sees things from a different perspective. And not everyone will see things the same way. Even the people that disagree don't necessarily agree with those who disagree. So everything is um, according to one's perception. But when I thought about it, it was in, in numerous ways, in numerous ways, but a sacrifice in the way that who run things, that want to keep things in order, as business as usual, uh, needed to send a clear message. And the clear message was, this is your reality. This is what you will have to live with. The other thing is, let's put fear, put fear in the people so that they would know their place. This is something that used to be done back uh, when they uh, were breaking Africans and those who were disobedient to their uh, orders. They did to the enslaved people. They would break one or kill one or maim one of African descent, enslaved people, in order to send a clear message to the other enslaved people that uh, you, ne you need to know your place and this is what we need you here for, or uh, we will use you for uh, here and you, we own you and we will do as we please with you. So uh, they had this thing that they did where they would break a person and have everyone observe this thing, either break or kill, you know. Um, we saw this in uh, the movie Roots with Kunta Kente and them making him learn, uh, take on the name that they had given him because they did not need him having his name because his name meant power amongst other things. So, but anyway, back to this, this subject at hand here, the topic. He, they needed to send, they wanted to send a clear message. And the one thing about melanin, our skin absorbs everything from the sun. It, it, it's, it's a, a brain within itself, powerful. And it registers trauma, so much so where it can actually impact our DNA, cause us not to be able to think clearly, not to be able to create, and uh, also causes um, a person that has been traumatized may uh, lose an extra 5 to 25 years of their life as a result of that trauma. So it also causes different kinds of uh, 
ailments and diseases, heart disease being number one, along with many other issues. So that thing that took place was meant for one thing, and that was to tell people, stay in your place. But as in everything that's going on now, what they meant to do did not work the way they thought it would. Okay, and so let me go back to say about melanated people and that trauma. We were traumatized by that. And understand what I just said. Being traumatized can uh, take away from your life expectancy, can uh, take five to 25 years off your life. It also can keep you from thinking clearly, can keep you from being able to create your own reality, your own narrative, and live out your life to the fullest because now you have this thing playing in the back of your mind that actually creates, that actually uh, interferes with the way that you behave and the way that you react. And any time that image come up, it will spark the same feeling in your heart. It will cause the same stir in your body because the memory of that thing is there. And every time you feel it, it, it it's, it's, it's stressful, painful. Okay, so now that we know this, and we can go into deeper on, on another show, we can really go into this, but uh, for now, because we know this now, we have to begin working this, this out of our bodies. We have to make sure that that trauma is not settling anywhere in our bodies. We must begin to talk to ourselves. Breathe. Visualize things the way we prefer to see them. Speak love unto ourselves. Yes. Love as much as you can. But kind of like let that, that, that thing that they embedded lift up and down. nature, deep breathing, and deliberately let it out, let it go. Don't forget, you still have to stay on it. You still have to stay on it. But understand the significance of what that was. Now, the sacrifice. That sacrifice, he gave his life from a spiritual perspective he gave his life. From a human perspective his life was taken. It was taken. With that said, it sparked something. And it now gives us an opportunity to grow even stronger. There's not anything that has been done for all of this, whatever, a couple of few hundred of years, 400, 500 years, that has kept us. We, we continue to rise. We continue to rise. We continue to rise. And so if it was a sacrifice so that we can awaken and become aware and become conscious and and rise again, and rise again, and rise again, and become stronger, stronger, stronger. Then that was the sacrifice for the world, for the world. So anyway, the truck went by. Uh, so I just wanted to say that. So you have uh, 
so many different perspectives. And someone else can come on and, and, and speak their mind. Please share in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Uh, subscribe. Very new, my second show. Uh, I haven't gotten to the professionalism of how professional everyone else is. Everything else, I am not worried about all of that, concerned with all of that. I just want to share. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. It's time. And yes, this life is taken. But on the spiritual realm, it was a game that we may grow stronger and more powerful than ever. And guess what? We weren't the only one traumatized. And guess what? Some people can't take trauma the way we can take trauma. So if they think they done messed around with five to 25 years, that we can easily flip it, flip it and turn it around and add an extra five and 25 or maybe 50 years. Much love. Thanks for tuning in. Peace.